Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the hanged man. And I almost went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm rambling, aren't I? I don't mind. You're adorable when you're flustered. After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake leaving the Dalish. You're just feeling homesick. Don't second-guess yourself. I suppose if I hadn't left my people, I never would have met you. I'm not like you. And I wish that I were. You're beautiful and clever, and you never make any mistakes. And I... I don't deserve you. I'm not as perfect as you think, Mel. I'm not some sort of goddess. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Some people worship you from afar, you know. It's foolish of me to even dream that you might. You don't have to dream about it. Mel? It's all right. What happens now? Are we... What did this mean? Now we both decide what happens next. If you hadn't come to Sundermount that day, I can't imagine where I'd be now. I love you. I probably shouldn't have said that, should I? I always say the stupidest things. Uh -oh. I love you, Mel. Actually, I was going to suggest you move in with me. Here? In Hightown? The rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. In you? With an elf. Marvenon. You really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then neither am I. 